Good evening. This is Akashvani Kohima. I am Kuku with the evening news. The headlines. Returning officer for Nagaland Parliamentary Constituency holds crucial meeting with election observers, contesting candidates and political parties. Following the arrest of drug kingpin Bahar Udin and two others, Nagaland police conducts searches in Dimapur to collect further evidence. National Council of Educational Research and Training makes every effort to provide school books on time. And campaigning gains momentum as polling date for the first phase of Lok Sabha elections is nearing. Now the news in detail. In a bid to ensure free, fair and inducement-free election in the state, Commissioner and Returning Officer for Naglan Parliamentary Constituency, Sushil Kumar Patel, along with a team of election observers, held a significant meeting with contesting candidates and political parties in Kohima today. The meeting held at the conference hall of the Commissioner and RO served as a platform for open discussion on various issues pertinent to the electoral process. Key topics addressed during the meeting included the handling of postal ballots, vehicle permissions for election-related activities, and the role of stakeholders in upholding democratic values. The commissioner and returning officer provided insights into the procedures for handling different types of postal ballots and clarified protocols regarding vehicle permissions. The meeting reiterated about importance of conducting elections in a free, fair and inducement-free manner, emphasizing the need for all stakeholders to adhere strictly to the code of conduct and ethical guidelines to ensure the integrity of the electoral process. Following the arrest of drug kingpin Bahar Udin and two others, Naglan police said searches were conducted in Dimapur at different locations to collect further evidences. During the searches, incriminating materials such as documents, bank-related papers, passbooks, multiple SIM cards issued on fictitious names, and mobile handsets have been seized. The state police said, based on further leads, more incisive action will follow in the coming days. The police informed that Bahar Udin is one of the major narcotic drug traffickers of the Northeast, primarily operating from Dimapur in Nagaland, with his supply chain having upward procurement and trafficking links in Manipur and downward sale linkages in Nagaland and Assam. Multiple cases of ganja and shan flower, heroin trafficking, are registered against him in Nagaland and other parts of country by different agencies. Police said that as per the investigation still now, Bahar Udin has procured and trafficked more than 800 soap cases of narcotic drug from different suppliers operating from Manipur during the past 6 to 10 months. The Nagaland police further said it will endeavour to unearth the entire trafficking chain in this and other cases. Meanwhile, the state police requested the public to share information on any traffickers while also extended its appreciation Angami Public Organization, Angami Youth Organization, DAYO, and other CSOs for actively assisting the police whenever requested by deputing their representatives as witnesses. National Council of Educational Research and Training, NCRT, has said that it is making every effort to provide school books on time. In a social media post, it said about 33 lakh books of classes 1, 2, 7, 8, 10 and 12 have been printed and delivered to bookshops. NCRT said the new syllabus books for class 3 and 6 will be published this month and in May. It said books for classes 4, 5, 9 and 11 will be available in the market this month. NCRT requested all students and parents to be patient and not get worried. The response of NCRT came amid reports of non-availability of school books in many states. Campaigning is gaining momentum as the polling date for the first phase of Lok Sabha elections is nearing. Senior leaders of major political parties are campaigning in different states going for polls in this phase. Prime Minister and senior BJP leader Narendra Modi yesterday addressed election rallies in Rajasthan and Uttarakhand. During his address, the Modi said, This is not a general election, but the election of developed India. On the other hand, Congress State President Govind Singh Dotasara, former Chief Minister Ashok Gelot, and senior party leaders addressed nomination rallies of party candidates in Pali and Jodhpur. In view of the general election to the Lok Sabha, a training for webcast nodal officers and master trainers was conducted at DC Conference Hall, Chumukidima. 
The training was conducted for all the districts of Nagaland on online and offline webcasting and highlighted on the users, connection and was given hands-on training in order to address consistency and develop message in real time. They were also informed that in all the districts, assistance will be provided as district assistant and district manager to assist them in case there is any issue. Chotilal Bhagat from V Mukti Solutions Private Limited was the resource person for the training. This news comes to you from Akashwani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. Naglan Home Department has notified that in accordance with the Representation of the People Act 1951 and in view of the forthcoming general election to the Lok Sabha, the day of polling, that is 19th of this month, is declared as paid holiday for all the employees of the government as well as private and business establishments in the state to enable them to participate and exercise their franchise. It said this applies to all categories of employees including the daily wage, casual workers and also those electors working outside the constituency concerned. However, this would not apply to any elector whose absence may cause danger or substantial loss in respect of the employment in which he is engaged. The day is also declared paid holiday for all the employees of banks and financial institutions in Naglan under the Negotiable Instruments Act 1881 to enable them to exercise their franchise. Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer Mokokchung Tsuviche Poji has informed all the requisition vehicles on the Mokokchung District for the conduct of Lok Sabha election 2024 to report at Imkong Marin Sports Complex on 16 April 2024 from 10 a.m. onwards. He said that failure to comply with this order shall be liable for stringent action under Representative of People's Act 1951. In view of the upcoming general election to the Lok Sabha and to ensure peaceful atmosphere, DC and DEO Twensang, A. Zibentang Kitan, has informed to all the arm license holder and the district to deposit it along with the firearms at their nearest police station on or before April 6th. He said that failure to do as ordered will invite necessary action against the offender in accordance with the provisions of the law. At least seven people were killed and more than 700 injured by a powerful earthquake in Taiwan. An earthquake measuring 7.4 on the Richter scale hit Taiwan's eastern shores today, triggering tsunami warnings in the region. The United States Geological Survey said the quake had a magnitude of 7.4, with its epicenter 18 kilometers south of Taiwan's Hualien City at a depth of 34.8 kilometers. The director of Taipei Seismology Center, Wu Chenfu, said the earthquake was felt all over Taiwan, an offshore island, and it is the strongest in 25 years. Authorities said dozens of people remained trapped in buildings. As part of the follow-up program on the awareness program conducted by the Naglin Pollution Board Control, an awareness program on waste management was conducted by district administration at Tenning, Peren, on Monday. All the nine wards under Tenning Tenning Town Council took part in the awareness program. The importance of biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste was highlighted by the ward ambassador. To end the evening news, the headlines once again. Returning officer for Nagaland Parliamentary Constituency holds crucial meeting with election observers, contesting candidates and political parties. Following the arrest of drug kingpin Bahar Udin and two others, Nagaland police conduct searches in Dimapur to collect further evidence. National Council of Educational Research and Training making every effort to provide school books on time. And campaigning gains momentum as polling date for the first phase of Lok Sabha elections is nearing. This is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.